Hey everybody, AZ80s Girl back with you, and today we're going over the Misfits fashion line called Smash and Fashions. So I have uh, some of the first series and some of the second series, and some I don't have, but I'm going to go over the ones I do have, um, and these are the ones that I, I love. So the ones that I don't have, um, I didn't, well, I wasn't a fan of every single fashion, um, but I figured the ones I have, uh, how many do I have, two, four, six, nine of them, I figured those were probably good enough. So I think I'd, I'll stick with what I have here. So anyway, okay. So first of all, um, I'm going to kind of separate the ones that came out first and then the ones that came out second as best I can. Um, and then we'll go from there. So set those aside and go from there. All right, there we go. Pretty easy there. Okay, so one outfit I did purchase um, and take out of the box uh, was this first series Smash in Fashion, and it was called Out of My Way. Uh, and again, as all the fashions, a lot of these are the Misfits songs. So I'm going to play that. Some of their songs. See here soon. So, so this one's called Smash in Fashion. And this was for the first released um, fashions that came out for the Misfits and uh, Rio. So you can see on the back, they're all like the cartoon drawings. So when you see a cartoon drawing of one of the Misfits, or even Jim, that's the first releases. The second ones show the actual doll wearing the outfit. So this was the first series called On My Way and then they showed some of uh, Rio's because they didn't have a lot of fashions that first came out for the Misfits so they put Rio on a few as well. I don't have the Make and Mischief outfit that's right here. Um, it's not much to it. I wasn't a huge fan of that one but I do have the others um, from this back. So I'm going to go over that and then uh, uh, all these are the new ones from the second series right here. Okay, so so out of my way is the one I got out of the package here, and I did like it on Stormer because this is what she did actually wear on the show. So Stormer wore this outfit. Um, hers came with it came with a little bow to put in her hair. Um, a lot going on. So one piece uh, long dress, like a dark magenta with a purple little netting type of thing here, and then a belt. Uh, it also came with like a mustard yellow, just straight tight. Magenta socks and sandals. The right and left sandals are like a bright yellow. So this would be out of my way fashion on Stormer. So if you have an extra Stormer doll, especially if you've lost the flower, um, this actually puts a flower right back on top of her head. So extra fashions, and then you do need to buy a stand to display your doll. So that's called out of my way. The next one from that series as well is um, Clash, and she's wearing Let the Music Play. And I think this one actually was on um, uh, Roxy a lot on the show. I don't really believe that uh, Clash, Clash didn't really play an instrument, but they still wanted to put some fashions on, the, I did anyway, put some fashions on the doll. So they never really showed Clash um, in different fashions that I know of. The same with the Jetta. Jetta's not in many um, fashions that I've found that they've made. It's, they're mainly made for the three of them. Um, there are a lot of people out there on eBay, Etsy, wherever that has handmade some special ones that they've worn on the show and made them. So those are great. So this was the um, this fashion here again. Let the music play. It's a yellow tight. Um, it's a brighter yellow than the other ones with purple shoes, green dress, uh, netting, and then purple lame uh, matching bow with the you know the little netting and a purple uh, attachment. You can't really see much of that because her hair is purple as it is. So that is her outfit. Let the music play. Okay? And that's on Clash. The one I wasn't um, great about was uh, the one I have on Roxy here. Winning is everything. And this usually was always on Pizzazz. Um, she always wore the little cap um, butler type of hat. Uh, this is poor, probably as much as good as I could get. Um, I think this Roxy doll was kind of in rough shape, pretty wa loose waist, and possibly her hair was cut, but I kind of liked how it was looped. This did not go with her. Um, she came with, I don't have the sashes, so there was a sheer pink sash uh, to tie around her, um, up here, around her, up here somewhere, and then her, her just like this. So I just found a ribbon, um, probably part of the Barbies that I have, and then just put this on to kind of go with it. 
Um, it's like a dark teal bodysuit, one piece, and it has like silver little uh, embroidery around the hems and such. So that one is called Winning is Everything, okay? And this one shows wear often, like, that I've seen. Um, there's a ton of these out there. Um, they rip from the seam off awfully a lot uh, around the hat, I've noticed, just probably because a lot of, you know, back in the day, you're pushing the hair up into the hat. So that's that outfit there. And then I have Jetta wearing Just Misbehaving, and I still think this one's an awesome one. It looks great on her. Now, Pizzazz, as I remember, usually wore this outfit as well um, and could really rock it. But I liked it on Jetta. You know, she really didn't have other outfits that she could wear <laughs> that I've seen. So, more yellow tights, yellow sandals. This is a, a very great condition skirt for this outfit. A very shiny skirt. It's one of those skirts that can fray and not stop. So really be careful with those. It does have a tiny little... Um, tiny little bikini gold top and then a gold belt that is hard to find. It's almost that this is a thicker like heavier leather jacket type thing um, and so it was a pretty pretty good made outfit and I thought it looked best on Jetta. It makes her look like a bad, bad girl. So that's one's on Jetta. So those are the four that were that I have from the first series. Now from the second series, they just re-released all of those fashions again, and I don't have the only one fashion I don't have. Um, I forget what it's called, but there's one I don't have. But I will show you the ones I do have. So the one I do have here is Stormer and Designing Women. Now I would say all of these are very rare to find, especially complete. When they are listed on eBay, they go fast and they go kind of high. So mine is actually complete. Um, it looks best on Stormer to me. And that's, um, I think this the one she, she wore this on the show too. So yellow tights. So there's a lot of yellow tights on these fashions for the Misfits. Um, like a bright neon orange uh, heel, scallop shoes. This is a blue, a stretchy blue dress. And it has like a thicker, um, almost faux leather uh, yellow and bright orange ruffles all the way around and all the way to the back. Velcro in the back. A lot of people get this confused with what she, what's in her hair. So this actually is her um, wrap that she comes with in the package. Um, it gets confused with the hair bow in um, Dance, which is a lot lighter than this and also the uh, a bow, a lace bow that's part of the Barbie and the Rockers and that one is actually in her hair so I just put it in her hair because it's a little bit darker and like a thicker this one's, I and mean, it actually would go more with her outfit but this is the one that came with the package and with the dress okay so that is called Designing Woman Designing Woman okay and I'm gonna go with a pizzazz now and pizzazz um, is wearing, you can't catch me, um, and this is, this is one's pretty cool outfit. Uh, another one, a rare one that you won't be able to f find on there unless it's in the package for a couple hundred dollars. Um, no joke. So um, keep an eye out. Um, bright pink shoes, one long bodysuit, um, crisscrosses, and you tie it in the back. And I've seen some of these where they can fray, rip, from crisscrossing and tying um, with this dress. So it's a, sorry, not a dress, but if it's a bodysuit and then it has this black netting over the front and the back. And I'm pretty sure she wore, you know, I think either she wore it or Roxy possibly wore this one on the show. Now, the one thing that is hard to find too is these armbands. They're the black lace uh, polka dot armbands on each side. Um, I, it's rare to find these along with the outfit. So there's another one, again, pizzazz in their, um, you can't catch me. So that's what she's wearing here. Okay. Um, this one I have on Stormer, I don't have complete, is you gotta be fast. You gotta be fast. So I, what I have um, is basically just the, the leotard, the black leotard, and the, the covering here. So there's a green, like a neon green covering with this little crinkle stuff going all the way around her arms to the back. Those are the two pieces that I have from that outfit. 
I wasn't a huge fan of it. I, I stumbled upon this these pieces in actually a Barbie lot of clothes. So it's kind of lucky because these can probably sell for just fifty dollars just for this top. It's really crazy. So the the actual this was actually um, Stormer's netted tights from her actual outfit. This one actually came with the like a floral tight black um, and then like green shoes. Instead I kind of foofed her up, put on some shiny belts. Um, I actually purchased the dress, uh, the, um, the necklace and the shoes from someone that makes them on eBay and then I just put a little cover up on her hair. Because this, this one wasn't the, the greatest stormer. She has stains on her forehead, and I just wrapped it around. So this one is close enough for me, and it's a little better in uh, You Gotta Be Fast. Okay? There's that one. And then we'll go to Gimme, Gimme, Gimme. This is Pizzazz and Gimme, Gimme, Gimme. Um, she definitely wore this on the show, too. She's one to stand out, no joke. Loves her animal print, crazy prints. Um, it's a uh, two-piece, really. Um take this off here so she this was the um, green fringe skirt uh, wrap around her waist and it's a two-piecer so you'll find a if you find a black bodysuit with just one sleeve that's underneath and then this cow print uh, white black cow print thing uh, yeah cow print um, it's kind of like that felt type feeling wraps around the other side Okay, and then the green shoes, green heels. So that's her outfit there, called Gimme, Gimme, Gimme. And then wrap that around. And that, okay. And then the last one I have is probably my favorite, and I think it's more on, I can't remember if it's on Stormer Worn or Roxy, but um, I, I liked it on Roxy. I saw someone had it on Roxy once, so I kept it. And, and this one's called uh, there, ain't nobody, there Ain't Nobody Better. Um, ain't, yes, There Ain't Nobody Better. Probably my favorite one, one of my favorites. Um, blue heels, rare to find the blue heels. This is uh, a rare fashion um, to have blue heels in a fashion. So blue heels, um, cute dress, be really careful with this. Uh, black fringe around the bottom and then black up here. Um, it's all connected together, so really be careful putting this outfit on her uh, with the sleeves. They're black, like a satiny sleeve with uh, colorful polka dots. I've seen some polka dots show some wear over time. They just lose the color um, and that. And then the belts. So again, with all fashions that they have, and even the regular ones, it's hard, hard to find their belts sometimes. So be careful with this one. It's a teal belt with a sticker stitched over it. It's like a glittery... Uh, grayish black sticker over top there and it's a pink dress okay and then the one sock it came with was the bright pink sock black polka dots and it has a, a teal lame um, bow on there to match her belt okay so that is there ain't nobody better on Roxy I liked her hair up it's rare to see her hair up and that's all the fashion so these are the smashing fashions from the misfits um, Hope you loved everything you saw. I love these dolls. Um, I love continuing to collect for, of Gemma the Holograms. And I have a lot more to go over yet, so stay tuned.